We're working on the 92 Fox body today, doing a uh, kind of a light restoration on the car. And like lots of vehicles, the underhood liner, if you choose to keep it, it can get kind of pretty ugly. We're going to try and see if we could do a light restoration on it. Uh, things you'll need, we're going to remove the liner. Things you'll need are a to get the uh, retaining clips off even some uh, needle nose pliers and make sure you get your wife's best scissors for cutting the landscaping mat that we're going to put over top and we got some uh, 3m adhesive spray so what we're going to do is we'll pop off this clean it off put it on the uh, workbench lay down some landscaping mat and glue it on let's see what kind of results we get we're going to peel this off carefully and we might do something to fill however that hole got in there we'll make the we'll make the surface fairly uniform and smooth we might have to fill in a few spots with some i don't know we'll find something to fill it in with and then we'll go ahead with our landscaping mat and our glue and we'll see how it turns out i notice there's even the the running horse on here we'll see if we get that to look good again now that we got everything pretty much removed, I'm going to uh, vacuum it off just to get any other dust off. And let's face it, if your underhood liner is in such bad condition, you'll just have to replace it. This one looks like it might be able to be saved. Something I thought I would try on a few areas where it's getting a little bit weak. I might put some uh, easy liner on, some bed liner. It'll just help keep everything together and reinforce it a bit. So we'll spray a bit of this on and just to uh, give it a little extra strength. This stuff seems to bond pretty good. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but just a few key areas. I think this uh, bed liner is actually not a bad idea. After I spray it on a little heavier, I just take a putty knife just to help smooth it a little bit and work it in. Seems to help a little bit, just to help get that shape back. I used, uh, filled this with some, uh, the bed liner and smoothed it out with the putty knife, so that'll help. I ended up grabbing some leftover chunks of the liner just to help reinforce. Just spray this on. And then when you smooth it out, and once it dries, it should really help reinforce it. So when we're putting our landscaping mat on, we'll be in a little bit better shape here. So we went around all the lower spots with the bed liner. We're going to go let it sit outside, let it dry. So when we put the landscaping mat on and the adhesive, it'll have a stronger, fresher area to stick to. So I uh, laid down the first piece. It actually went down quite well. You know, you can see some imperfections in it. Once it's on the car, on the bottom side of the hood, it won't look so bad. So I'll prep this area with the glue and the back side of the uh, main piece and we'll get gluing that on as well. So we got the whole bottom side covered with glue and the whole bottom of the uh, fabric covered. We're going to let it dry for a couple minutes before we put it on. And now that we got everything laid in, make sure you go around all the edges and just make sure that the glue is stuck everywhere along all the creases and uh, yeah everything seems to be laying in really well it takes a little bit of time just take your time have somebody help you and uh, it'll end up turning out good we we'll end up uh, gonna fold the edges over instead of just cutting it just to keep it from coming apart in the future and we're gonna go all the way around and we'll see what we end up with Okay, now for the moment of truth, let's flip this thing over.
Got my trusty assistant, lovely assistant. You know, it's actually turned out pretty good. I, uh, once I get it on the car, we'll take a look and see how it looks. And out of a little piece of pipe, I made a hole punch so you locate the hole. Got some wood underneath it. Makes a nice little hole there. So you go all the way around, locate all the holes, wherever they might be. There's one in the center here. Bring my wood around. There is another hole. Put this over top. Perfect. And I'll finish that up and then we'll put it on, see how it looks. All right, guys, here's the finished product. You can actually still see the horse in there. The edges look half decent. We're going to buy new clips for the, uh, for the holes. And I'd say I would do it again. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.